Hi, Cozy Gamers. Two new things. I got a webcam. I finally got a webcam. I also got a gaming PC. So exciting. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. It's going to make recording and everything so much easier. And then I can finally start dreaming, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking for. I am really chatty Kathy. Look at me go. What am I even saying? I don't know. Um, so my audio cuts out for the entire rest of this video. I did have a little cry about it. I absolutely did, but it's okay because we're going to do a little voiceover where I kind of try and tell you what I might be saying or just my thought process behind what I'm doing. So sorry. Let's go. And here I'm talking about how I just started a new save file out of just boredom on my Switch Lite and how I have a lovely little farm plot there, but how this one is just a disaster still. Why am I like this? <laughs> and here's me watering a rock because I'm an idiot, per usual, and impatient. <laughs> All right, now I'm prepping to go to the mines. I'm choosing a lucky lunch because, eh, you know, I'm gonna be lucky today. I think the spirit said they were in, they were not happy <laughs> today, so I need that. I need that little luck. And stopping by Clint's to crack these geodes open. Boo! Yay! Gotta go drop it off at my boy Gunther's, see if he has any rewards for us. Oh, and he does, he does. What is it, what is it? I love, I love getting pictures. It's so fun. They never match my aesthetic, but I love hanging them up regardless. Okay, and now my goal for the mines is just, just to get to 40. I really just need to get to 40 because that's where the iron is and I really need to upgrade my axe so I can get those ugly logs out of my crop space. <laughs> I'm also remembering that this is like pitch dark levels and I did not bring a freaking torch light. And here we're making moves. We're finding, we're finding ladders left and right. I'm getting down in those levels pretty quickly. And by quickly, I mean like, you know, at a pretty normal pace. Here I'm a little upset. I'm a little, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed because I thought we had come to an understanding last time. And you know, they want to come at me like I did something to them when I'm just trying to get to level 40, you know? So, you know, this is just us having a little domestic squabble, but I think we, we ended it cordially. Here's me not exaggerating at all about how happy I am to be at level 40. Look, we get a little, we get a little present. What is it? What is it? <gasps> a slingshot that I do not know how to use at all. At all. And now I finally get to relish in the sweet, sweet reward of these bumpy little rocks of iron ore. And then I realized this, this lucky lunch did absolutely nothing because I had to break damn near every rock in here to get to the next floor, but it's okay. Because look, more bumpy rocks. To which I then immediately turn around and leave because I'm getting my ass handed to me by a bat. I'm back home in the safety of my little dilapidated beach farm. And I'm looking at my journal quests that are all seemingly more long term. So I need to befriend Marnie and I need to work on getting to the bottom of them mines. And my cat refuses to share the bed. How rude feed you i water you sometimes water you like a plant <laughs> but i had to leave and come back because he just was not having it there we go good night so i level up in combat which gives me this elixir potion and i kind of talk about how i never on my previous playthroughs used the elixirs or anything like that so i'm gonna try and do that more on this playthrough and it will probably actually help me and make things easier the oak resin is ready, which makes me realize I need to put cappers on a pine tree still, I believe. Here's me remembering I have a whole ass chicken coop. Like, I literally forgot we had done that last time. <laughs> Just forgot we built a whole coop. Um, so yeah, I, I also remember that we need to buy a chicken, which is 800 gold. But that's what we're going to try and get, I think, next time. 
<laughs> I just remembered which day this is. Oh man, y'all are in for a treat. So I go, oh my God, there's a walleye at the traveling cart, which is super rare. And there's a sandfish. And I really want to get both. Not that they're super rare. They're just harder to get. And I hate fishing. You guys know that. So I'm like, okay, I need $500 to get the sandfish. I need $500. I'm going to do whatever it takes today to go get this sandfish. So I'm like, well, okay, I can spend my time foraging and selling it to Pierre's. Or I can go fish. I'm like, whatever it is, I need to do it before 5. Because that's when both of the stores and I can sell things to close. And then I need to do all that before 7 to get back to the traveling cart. Or I think it might be eight to buy these fish. So luckily I find a lot of sweet peas foraging and I'm like, well, easy. You know, I'm gonna sell them to Pierre and hopefully we'll get up to 500. Yes, yes, we did it. We got up to 500. I don't even really need to sell these, but I will anyways, just a just little extra zhush for the day, you know? So I'm like, okay, we're, we're chilling. Look, it's 2.30. We got time. We got time to waste. Maybe I'll still go fishing just cause. No, I won't. And then I'm like, well, let's just check the saloon, you know? Let's see what specials they have at the saloon. And then maybe I'll go mining later. My dumb ass looks at the special, goes, that's great, buys it. I buy it. And there goes my $500 that I was going to spend on the sandfish. I'm like, can I sell it? Can I sell it back? You can't sell food back that you bought from the saloon, dummy. And so, yeah, I'm like, I have to restart the day. I just, I have to. It's 3.30. I didn't really do anything. I need to restart the day. I just have a, I have a moment. I have a moment to myself to really, really think about what steps I took in my life to come to this moment and make these decisions. So that's that day. Hope you enjoyed it because it was really fun to experience. <laughs> The next day I'm more efficient and then I'll just skip to where we're back at the traveling cart buying the fish. And after trial and tribulation, the fish are mine, they're in my possession, and all is right in the world. And now I guess I think I'm Miss Efficiency and so I go and sell some little things to Pierre's and then I head to the beach after that and sell some things to Willie. And now I'm trying to get money for a chicken. And now for the, the sweet satisfaction of putting these fish that I had to put zero effort in to get into these bundles. Oh, I love that. Don't you love that? Money really can buy happiness, especially money that took you two tries to get. But we won't talk about that. Then I put the pepper in the summer crop bundle and I finished this exotic foraging bundle with my pine or oak resin. And then I got Autumn's Bounty, which is great because I can give it to Marnie to befriend her. She loves Autumn's Bounty. Then I put the mushroom in that dye bundle. And now we're having a little cheeky mind trip, just a little one. I'll save you the pain of watching me go through this and just skip to the end. I did not do too shabby on this trip. I got some ore, uh, I got an amethyst, and I got some retaining soil uh, fertilizer that I literally never use and never will use, probably. And now we leave. Now we leave and we go home. And it's a new day, and my cat is hogging the camera. He thinks it's his show, Chila Keeley's does. He really does. So I'm going to check the tasks we can do, and... I accept Linus's to get quartz, and I realize it's Guts's birthday, and we should go get him something. And then I kind of realize I should be writing some stuff down. And so what I do at some point after this is start writing stuff down. So like what we have to do next time, little notes to look up or things to remember for this specific playthrough. So that I don't, for example, forget that I have a coop and that I need to get a chicken. <laughs> Anywho, then I sell some things hoping to get money for a chicken, which I did. I have 800. I'm like, amazing. I can go find Marnie because it's Monday. Of course, she'd be in her shop, right? It's a Monday. Um, yeah, spoiler alert, she's not. So instead, I decide to just donate some things to the community center, get those bundles out of the way. And then I'm realizing, do I need to plant fruit trees to finish this bundle? And I'm like, oh no, if I just invest in animals instead, I can finish it. And then I donate this thing to Gunther. I think it's a jade and I get a little rock, the cutest standing geode. Love that, want one in real life. Somehow I ended up in the mines again. I don't know what's with me in mines this time around, but 
Yep, here I am in the mines. I think I wanted some ore for, uh, what are they called? Bee house. And then I'm trying to use the, the slingshot and I kind of liked it actually. Then I'm like, all right, I hit 45. I'm out, I'm out of here, get me out. Now I'm home, I'm realizing I need maple to make the bee house, so I can't do that. So my goals for next time are get maple syrup to make a bee house, get a chicken, go to the Adventurers Guild, and give Linus that quartz if it's still a task. So I didn't notice while I was filming, but this glowstone ring is amazing. It makes the grab area around you to bring things into your inventory wider, and it gives a little light glow in the mines or in the dark, which is amazing. So I'm going to make that a priority next time. And here's me going, oh my god, thanks guys. I totally didn't F up this entire video. Ha ha ha, stay cozy, bye. But thank you guys, I love you, stay cozy.